Thank you very much. This is the most beautiful goddamn place I've ever been in. <laughs> this is good. What stood at the beginning of The Shining? Did you ever stay in a hotel like that? Yeah, we, uh, my wife and I, my wife and I had uh, babies from the time that we got married. Stephanie, the younger sister, said, you know, you two ought to go out and have a honeymoon. You've never been off by yourselves. Why don't you take the weekend and I'll watch the kids? So we did, and we were in Boulder, and we just, we didn't have a destination in mind, and we drove up into the, into the Rocky Mountains, and we came to this beautiful hotel in Estes Park called the Stanley. We were the only people in this huge old hotel. The wind was howling outside. We went down for dinner. We were the only people in this huge dining room. The chairs were up on the table and the music was coming down and echoing through the corridors. And I thought, if I could, with my imagination, move this hotel away from the town in the isolation and put this family up there with a man who was losing his mind, I'd have a kick-ass novel. Now, there is this very famous movie made by Stanley Kubrick, and if I'm rightly informed, you have once had a conversation. I was shaving in, it was seven o'clock in the morning, and in my little house in Maine, and I was shaving. I think that I had a hangover, and, uh, but I, I was going like this, and my wife ran into the bathroom and said, Steve, Steve, Stanley Kubrick, Kubrick is on the phone and he wants to talk to you and I went <laughs> and the blood started to come out so I grabbed some toilet paper and put it on my face and I went to the phone and this voice said hello Stephen it's Stanley Kubrick and I think most ghost stories are optimistic don't you <laughs> and And I'm thinking to myself, it's seven o'clock in the morning, I'm in my underwear, my face is bleeding, and Stanley Kubrick is calling from England and wants to know if ghost stories are optimistic. Stephen King, thank you for coming to Munich. Danke, danke. <laughs>
that we have on death is that death comes as a friend because mm. all of us are a little bit afraid of it because we don't know what it is and uh, of course we're afraid that we'll come to some sort of a, a nasty end and uh, we know that mostly it won't happen although who knows you guys might have left some doors unlocked tonight and by the way you might have left a car unlocked they could be in your <laughs> car in the back seat so that when you're driving you know you see the face in the rear view mirror that would just be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably won't happen, and we can laugh about it now because we're all together. But you fucking wait till you're alone. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming to the end of this wonderful fun, actually. More, more fun than scary. Thank you very much for that evening. Um, oh, you can't scare people when they're all together. I get, gotta get you one by one, and that happens <laughs> every night. Stephen King, ladies great. and gentlemen. Thank you so much.